what happened in the 20th century a lot was because for the first time, instead of people going to churches and admiring and blessing uh, paintings and, and throwing their emotions and creating a relationship, the movies replaced that. The movies with Hollywood taught us how to act. You know, as a, as, a, as a nation, as a community, they taught us how to be. And uh, in many ways, that was a, an enormous power. Uh, Woodrow Wilson used it to get people to, a lot of the Americans to go and join and, and serve in the First World War. Um, I grew up having a father who fought three wars for the United States. I grew up loving the, loving the propaganda films from the war. Uh, the Dirty Dozen, I mean, if you look at The Dirty Dozen, it's an amazing film. If you, it's a homoerotic film. If you love men, I mean, the way he shoots men and everything like that. A strange confusion, you know? strange confusion. Uh, like and I said, oh... Is the fear and desire is the opposite of that, so we should... Uh, no, but the, I grew up on, you know, uh, not questioning my country. I grew up on all the information that I was given. There was no opposite information. I grew up with a, a, a hatred of the communists because that's what the movies were telling me in those days. Fortunately, I grew up in the 60s and 70s when the Vietnam War changed the rapport of the, the people towards the government because they knew they were being used. So all of a sudden for me, cinema was a way to, to fight back. Uh, and uh, for the young people today, I hope they have a chance of discovering Fassbind, of discovering Dry, or of discovering the, 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 the directors that came before, because they allow us, like ph philosophers, to identify with characters who are confronted by real problems, and, and finding a way of saluting, uh, finding a solution to those problems by being human. Today, you know, I, when Star Wars came out in the, the 1970s, I saw it. But it didn't change my life, and uh, and I saw how afterwards it's become nothing but Star Wars, and 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 that it's just a pure illusion. And, and maybe there you can look. You know, I mean, I had a big discussion with my nephew how he was telling me how The Dark Knight was really a dark film, and I couldn't say, but well, have you read Beckett? You know, <laughs> I don't know how to I don't know how to approach that. So I hope that. You know, we don't we don't lose what we've learned from the the 20th century. We I think we're finding ourselves in a position where corporations have become stronger than nations. That we might find eventually the you know nations are going to disappear because they're not taking their responsibility anymore. Uh, cinema is a cultural way of communicating with the world. I think if there is going to be a consciousness, it's going to come through the illusion of cinema. Uh, I hope so. But right now, I think. We're maybe at the beginning of the end of capitalism, and that's why it's become so authoritarian. And that's why in most of our cinemas today, there's maybe one or two films we feel like seeing, but 98% of the films, you know, are, are these big budget uh, franchises that you know are that, that have nothing to really share. And and I think the emptiness the kids feel today is that is that you know the, they can be entertained for the two hours but then they need another two hours and they're completely hooked in this whole kind of habit of stimulation which is just moving lights and images so uh, I still believe in being an actor and, and doing films it's just like I said also the forum seems to be changing now because our cinemas are occupied so we've got to find another way of and you know the VOD is great because uh, you know uh, for example when I did my first films the internet was just starting and I found out one time going on YouTube that one of my films had been seen 35 million times. Some Turk had taken one of my films and put it on YouTube. And instead of being horrified, I was going, my God, that's great. 35 million people have seen this. Whereas before, you couldn't, you know, your film, you did your film, it would come out in cinemas and then it would come out on the TV and maybe on video eventually. So, I mean, uh, I really believe that, you know, there's a, the Internet is a big black hole, which is sucking everything into it of what we know and how things are done, but it's also providing the, the seeds for a true world consciousness. And, and, and my job as a, an actor and being involved in cinema is, is maybe participating through the internet for that consciousness. If there's going to be a solution to what the, the world is facing in the next century, it's, gonna, it's not going to come nationally, it's not going to come through a corporation, it's going to come through a planetary vision. Yeah.
Is there another question? It was a video that I did because I was working a lot at the time. I lived in London, but I was working so much that I didn't get a chance to see my wife. And she was living in London, so I didn't know who Blur was. This guy came from the 60s and 70s. And uh, Damon was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I mean, we had. <laughs> I could explain some stories, but I better not. Uh, or maybe you should. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it, <clears throat> it, was a, it was a fun experience, but I mean, I, I really didn't know who Blur was. Uh, people were really exciting that I, excited that I, I did it. Um, uh, and, the, and the video was quite good. But I must claim complete ignorance about knowing who they were. I want to thank you very much for oh. this. Can I ask just a fun question? Uh, uh, Festival d'Avignon in the Palace of the Popes. I performed there. I did a play also in uh, London with Vanessa Redgrave, Peter Hall, who just died uh, this year. The problem is, being American, uh, you're limited by you know the roles you can play, mm -hmm. and so and when in France. There are schools, and, and you know, once I started working with Lars von Trier, I took myself kind of out of the French system as well. So you know, you've, you've got to play politics when you're an actor, and and I played my politics, and I, I'm still around. Uh, I'm not a rich man, but I've got I'm rich in experience, and I'm rich in in, in who I am, and uh, that's what I take, and that's what I leave when I die, and that stays. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. It was uh, a pleasure. Thank you. You will be present both at the screenings of Dolphin Man and at Grain, so you will have a chance to answer questions there as well. Thank you all for being here as well. Thank you. Thank you.